Today we're 3D printing a Leopard 2A6 and this is a German battle tank. And this is a free model made by an engineering student and there'll be a link in the description below if you want to check out the model yourself. And I've been looking for a model of this tank for quite some time and I've seen this one a while ago but it's actually extremely complicated in areas so I decided not to bother uh, back then but I thought you know what I'm going to have a go at it this time. And I think the driving force behind this was I got some olive green filament and I think that'll be cool to print it out in. Now the complicated part of this is the tank treads. You can print these off and then they clip together and you can make longer bits. I decided to do a little bit of cheating here and make strips so that I could fold these up without having to connect every single one. And of course, the problem I'm gonna have is in the long term, they might well fall off. So I want to have strips of them so that hopefully they'll hold together better. As the way this model is set up, the wheels don't rotate or anything like that. So there's no real point to having individual tank treads. And as you can see, there is a lot of parts and the only bit that needs support is the wheels. And even those, I think you probably could modify them a bit to actually not need the support at all because they're on the underside. So you're not really going to see them. So I think they probably could be set up to not actually have to be printed with any supports if need be. So first up, we're going to glue the main parts together and you need to glue these up perfectly. And it's very hard to align them because you need that circle in this middle to be perfectly aligned. Otherwise, of course, the turret's not going to rotate and there's no pegs or anything in here to help you with alignment. That's something you could definitely add quite easily and it will allow you just to have a bit of an easier time putting this all together. Now for this part, quite easy to get nicely aligned, but for the turret, a little bit more complicated because you don't really have a nice flat surface to properly set this on to make it get perfectly aligned. But yeah, I think I did a half decent job. It is a pity about the, of course, the join lines are very obvious. And because I'm using this olive green uh, filament here, we're not doing any painting, so there's no real way to hide this that well. But as you can see, it is quite a pain to try and get it be perfect. But that's half decent job. Then we got to remove the supports from the wheel sections. And like I say, this is underside of the tank. So really these could just fully go right back and be flat to the surface you're printing on. And I don't think you would really need these supports too much but it adds a little bit of extra detail underneath that otherwise would not be there for sure. But you can see they just pop off real easy. Next up, we have to attach these to the bottom of our body. And this gives us some excellent detail down here. And the great thing about this model as well is it's big. Like this is a nice big tank when it's finished and it looks absolutely stunning. And very easy so far to assemble. We'll get to the goddamn uh, tank treads later, but one side on, and then we're just gonna of course glue up the other side as well and that'll be us done. My glue here is super glue, but it's a slow acting one, so it gives me a bit more time to mess around with stuff if I mess up. But as you can see, it means I have to hold it longer in order to make sure it's properly in there eventually. However, we are perfect. And it's starting to slightly look like a tank now. Get in there anyway. And you might understand what I mean about this. You don't really need the supports here because are you really going to be looking at these parts once the tank treads are on and everything? And really, do you need those supports down there? I don't think so. And then we have the rims and these to get pressure fitted into the other parts here. And I just added a little bit of glue to make sure they're not going to come out. And there's of course quite a lot of them. And then you also have two at each end or one at each end, which are uh, not encased in our kind of black cylinder or of course, whatever color you're printing that off. I went for black. I was originally going to go for gray and I think that would have looked better, but I ended up going for black at the end of the day. And once you're done with this, we can start attaching it to the actual body of the tank. Again, there's no pegs or anything to help you with orientation. So my uh, attachment to the wheels here was not very good. This ended up being quite a bad job, I think. And I could have easily done it a lot better. But yeah, you just don't quite have anything to line up with, which makes it a little bit more difficult. So as you can see, they look great initially, but then they definitely start to get a little bit off. And yeah, they're definitely not perfect. But the tank is coming together very, very well. And we're going to be done very soon. And then we have our tank treads. So like I said, I decided to cheat by making these uh, panels of them that I could then attach quite easily to large areas. I also cheated though by not putting any at the top of where the tank treads would be because they're covered by the skirt. So you don't need to see it. So once all the tank treads were glued up, it was a matter of coming in with our skirts. And again, there's nothing to help you align this. So it's just a matter of being kind of careful with it all. And once you get it put on, it looks really good and adds an extra little depth to the overall design of the tank and helps to really add some cool details. 
And like I say, you can't really tell that there's no tank treads under the skirt here. So it got me to avoid having to try and fiddle with uh, putting them in place. And then yeah, just glue it in and we are done. We're now gonna be moving on to the turret and doing the final touches to that. So what we need to do here is add a couple of different bits on. Now I will say that where that seam is, is immediately where uh, it starts to angle down from the front of the turret. So at first I was gonna try and put these over the seam as much as possible to hide it, but then I realized actually they're hanging off the top and I'll have to just re redo them uh, a little bit further back. So I would have loved to have hidden the seam a little bit more with this, but I ended up having to place them just a bit behind it, which is not exactly what I wanted, but not bad. And they look really good. Nice little additional details to put on the top here and they help bring it all together. And then there's a couple of baskets that go on the back and this really helps to give it that boxy look that is very well known for this tank. And then we have the barrel. The barrel unfortunately does come in two parts. You need to do a glue here, which means a very obvious seam. I think you probably could combine these two together if you have a half decent printer. And then that way you'd be able to, you know, not have a seam of course in the barrel whatsoever. But we'll go ahead and take off our bands here. This is all nicely glued up now and we're going to assemble. So that's our base, our main body. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Then we have of course, our turret that goes on top. And we got our barrel. And the barrel, I am not actually going to glue it in just because I think it's you know potentially very easy to get broken. So if it does break one day, I can just print a new one out and slap it in. And it fits in there really good. And it feels really quite uh, stiff in there. So perfect. And that's it. Our tank is done. And this is by far the best version of this tank I've ever found out there so far in a way. It is a little bit complicated. I think there's a lot of stuff that could be simplified and made a bit easier for printing. But this student just doing these in his spare time, making incredible models. And especially for free, I can't really complain much at all. They're really good. They're really big too. This thing is a good size. And yeah, overall looks great. The olive filament also looks good. I've got a separate video on the channel where I see exactly what I used. But yeah, ended up looking great. Meant I didn't have to do any paint job after this, which uh, would save money and a whole process step. So yeah, very happy with this thing. It's very cool.